basically what happened was I had the skate shop that I started right out of high school and I was kind of doing it off and on for a couple of years and just things weren't going as well as planned and last year I had moved into my most recent space and it was on, on Mesa and I just it wasn't the same anymore and I, I, I used to sell a lot of stuff and then not like it just went to nothing where I just didn't have any customers at all. We found this screen printing kit, um, 60 bucks. We uh, just made a made a few shirts, just kind of as a joke. Um, people started buying them. Um, we reinvested everything that we we had into actually getting some some proper equipment, you know. And after uh, trial and error, you know, got got a little bit more serious about it. Uh, but Mark uh, had a knuckle. Yeah. board shop and it was right next to Mediterranean place and we'd stop by because we love Mediterranean food. I, I knew Mark and I knew he had the skate shop but I didn't know he was screen printing in there. So I went in there one day and he was screen printing and um, I thought he had a super awesome name for a print shop and I kind of wanted to steal it. I was like well let's just let's just join forces. We both kind of uh, came to the conclusion that we were spending more time working on other people's shirts than, than doing something productive that we wanted to do, you know, our own, and uh, realized you gotta gotta do custom orders to kind of keep the lights on. Uh, but combining forces, more coverage to kind of do the things you you wanted to do. Um, it was probably about August that we like officially went to the bank and got all our legal you know things set up and. They leased the space that we're at right now, and I still have the space on Mesa. We were kind of gonna figure out what, how it was gonna go. Like it was, we had the space on Mesa for retail and the spot downtown for like all the production stuff. And you just end up being better, all of us being at one spot, you know, all the time. So we just, since January of this year, we've been just, you know, here at this location. That's basically how proper began. I have a failing business, you know. <laughs> this one, you got, is this one from here? Yeah. Okay, and then, and then we brought one. three. Okay. And then I want to buy one of those. I, I guess at some point it, we've always had people asking because it's just crazy how many people always need shirts. Everybody needs shirts for something. Um, I mean, we could be having a lot more, and I, I guess that's with any business, there's. Uh, you could be having more. You know, that's that's what those are. You know, so we got a lot of lot of word of mouth. But then uh, we we do have the graphic design element of we're doing our own line of shirts, uh, and uh, we'll do different different types of events, and um, uh, we'll we'll kind of you know make sh short promo videos of our shop that has nothing to do with printing T-shirts, um, but it's. It's something that you know people can can appreciate, and a lot of people that have come to us, uh, we started noticing it when it wasn't just our friends coming to us. When it was you know strangers, uh, they'd say, "Oh yeah, there's a lot of printers out there, but you're just not just another printer. Uh, you're you know doing something different, and and we like that." It's like that, like how easy it is to look like a completely stupid that we just try and get everyone to laugh, like. It's just that, you know, piece of our personality and I really love movies and I love comedy and I love all types of movies, you know, and it's just, I, what I do is I kind of take pieces of those and, and try and incorporate it into a little short video. I think, especially now, like in 2012, with all the cameras, like the DSLRs and all stuff like that, like how easy it is to look like a certain way or something like that like it's pretty essential to a business you know because people get you know want to see a certain side of your business and i'd like to help other businesses with proper to stand out from other businesses and overall like 
it just changes the whole way you know people look at stuff. I, I kind of just wanted to make things that I I would wear personally, like um, just things that I hadn't seen yet. You know, I make stuff, and I'm, I'm afraid sometimes that it's like I think it's really cool, but it's like too out there for somebody. Like they're not getting the message that I'm trying to send, and it, in a sense, in an, you know, essence, you had failed by designing a shirt because nobody really gets it. But, but I would say just the process of screen printing is a creative um, act in itself because you, with each new job or you have to come up with new uh, sort of techniques or, or change this or change that and it's kind of just changing, figure out, you know, what you need to make things, uh, make things work. Because each job is different, each job requires different things. And um, I'm still doing new techniques and learning how to do um, new and better things with screen printing, but yeah, I'd say just just that, just the act of screen. We we have a, a spirit about us, and we want our, our clothing, you know, and, and designs to uh, uh, reflect that. And uh, uh, we we enjoy music, and we enjoy going to shows, and we have a venue, and so might as well, you know, combine combine the two. There's a lot of good things going for El Paso. I definitely think it's on an upswing in terms of arts and culture. I think one of El Paso's biggest thing is uh, El Paso has always um, been an exporter of its talent. I don't know uh, how many of my friends, you know, that incredibly talented, you know, uh, but they they left town because there wasn't opportunities here, you know, uh, for them. Uh, either musically, artistically, uh, even even professionally, but more so, more so, you're you're starting to uh, see some of that those opportunities uh, present themselves. Um, you're starting to see you know, festivals, you know, pop up. You're seeing you know a more uh, integrated and cooperative scene um, between different different groups. So it's good. It's almost a, a fragile, you know. Fragile state, but I think uh, the more people you know realize that there's a lot of potential here. Yeah. Just providing something different for people here, whether it's uh, T-shirts that they like, or helping them print the shirt that they want to make, or shooting a mu music video for their band, that, or help them design their logo, or you know, just basically anything. El Paso is a pretty big city, and I, I think we're, there's so many people here, and there's a lot of them that just don't believe that they can do it, or just don't do it. And you know, like other places, you feel like you do it because it's all around you, and that's basically how anything is started. Because it's like you see other people do it, you think it's normal, you do it. And here, if there's no one doing it, like, well, it's gonna make you try and do it, you know? Someone's gotta pave the way, and if some way we could do that, like I want to be a part of it. Oh, I don't, I don't think I head that far. Honestly, I don't. <laughs> I just want to be happy. Okay. Love stories from the road All your life you ever wanted What if it all came true Your perfect pretty smile Love potions from the now What's the chances you'll be granted Another way out From any bad Yeah, everything you said you really did and never